So now that you know how to create a custom page, let's look at variants. And honestly, variants for me is the best part about panels and page manager. And the best way to explain it is by just creating one. Okay. So let's go back to structure, pages, and click on edit. And by default, we have a single variant called panels. And if you click on selection criteria, you can see that no conditions have been set. So this variant will always return true, which means it will always be displayed. But let's now configure the variant so it's only available for authenticated users or logged in users. And then we'll create another variant, which will flag as the default one, which will, which will be displayed if the user's not logged in. So let's first configure this variant and make this one our authenticated user variant. So the first thing I'll do is add in a condition. So from the drop down, select the user role and click on add condition. And then just check authenticated user and click on save. So this variant will only return true if the user has the authenticated user role. And then just scroll down and click on save and update. And what we'll do is add in a page title called logged in and then click on update and save. So if I open up another tab and I'll go to the home page, you can see our logged in page, which makes sense because I'm logged in as an admin user. But let's now open up another browser and this time in private mode. And if we go to the home page, you'll see you get a page not found. And the reason for that is because page manager checks the variant, checks the selection criteria. If the selection criteria returns false, then it will simply display a page not found, which is great, exactly what we want. But as a home page, it's not, it's not that useful because more often than not, you will get anonymous users or users that aren't logged in come to the home page. So let's create a default variant, which will be displayed if the user is not logged in. So let me just close this browser and let's go back to our page and then just click on add variant and we'll call this default and then select panels from the type and then leave the configure variant as it is. And then let's select two columns stacked and click on next and just click on finish because we'll configure this in the next page. And then let's just quickly configure the content page for our default variant. So let's add in comments. And we'll add in recent content. And finally, let's add in the header text. And click on save and update. And let's just give this a page title of default, just so that we know that this particular variant is being loaded. Now under reorder, so click on reorder variants and make sure default is at the bottom and click on update. Now page manager starts from the top down. So it'll check the first variant. And then if the first variant returns false, then it'll go to the next one. If the next variant returns false, it'll go to the next one until one returns true. If no variants return true, then it will simply display a page not found. But in our case, because this panels variant has a selection criteria, you want this to be up the top. Okay. So if we go to our logged in, browser and reload the page, we should see our logged in variant, which is great. And let's just open up a private browser. And if we go to it, we should see our default variant, which is great. Now let's tweak the order, just so I can show you what happens. If we go to reorder variants and move default to the top and click on save and update, and we refresh, we'll see 
the default variant. And the reason for that is when there's no selection criteria, the variant always returns true. So page manager loaded up all the variants, came to the first one, it returned true, and it simply displayed it. So then our custom one, which is below it, will never be displayed. So that's why it's important to configure the order of the variants.